So hello, uh, here is our first kind of official lesson video for Algebra Foundations. Um, that, you know, for material that we haven't really quite covered before. And uh, this, th these notes here that you're about to get are a short little explanation about how to find the area of a shape called a trapezoid, right? And um, a little bit more about that in a minute, but remember that this should, you should find this in a module that will accompany today's date, and that along with this video, which you'll watch, I hope to see how to find the area of a trapezoid, you should find a practice worksheet and a homework worksheet, okay? Both of those should you do, okay? And both of those, um, both of those will be uh, will, will be uploaded. Okay, R recall that the, our method for uploading is we're going to be using our phones. You'll print out a copy of the assignments, and you'll take a picture of them with your phone. Okay, holding the phone horizontally, as I'll show you in a minute, and um, then you will upload that th that that work through Canvas. Okay, the same way that you would upload a. Uh, the same way that you would upload uh, one of your English or your, so your social studies papers, okay? And I'm going to link some instructions for how to do that in the module, in the instruction module, and I think I'll put another link to it in this module here so you can remember how to do it. If you have any questions about how to upload, please give me a, 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 or send me a message on, um, on Canvas, okay? All right, so anyway, so here is... Here is uh, our lesson here about finding the area of a trapezoid. Now, what is a trapezoid? Well, I'll write that question here. What <coughs> is <coughs> a trapezoid? <coughs> well, it's a funny name for a fairly simple shape. Trapezoids have... <coughs> four sides, like a, a square or a rectangle or a parallelogram. <coughs> but number two, on a trapezoid, and these guys here, these are both trapezoids, exactly one of the two pairs of sides are parallel to each other. So for this trapezoid here, these two sides are the parallel sides. On this guy here, these two guys are the parallel sides. Okay, the parallel sides, and this is important, are never the same length. Okay, so these two sides here are not the same length these two sides here are not the same length, okay? Unlike on a, say, a square or a parallelogram or a rectangle, the opposite sides can be equal in length on the, uh, or the parallel sides can be equal in length. With a trapezoid, the parallel sides are never equal to each other, okay? All right? Um, and then number three, the other two sides, the other pair of parallel sides, The other pair of sides are not parallel. They're never parallel to each other. All right? So these two sides here, these opposite pairs, those are not parallel because they're not, they're not, you know, going the same direction. And these two sides here, the opposite pair, those are not parallel. Sometimes those can be the same length. Okay, 
but the parallel sides are never the same length. Okay, so on a parallelogram, I mean on a trapezoid like these, you're going to be given a, a height, right? And the two parallel sides are called the bases. The bases. Right, so on this one that's standing on its side here, the two parallel sides, those are called the bases. And then we're going to have the height, which is going to be the distance between them. All right? Just like in a parallelogram, the height is the distance between the two sides, not necessarily the length of the other two sides just like with the parallelogram, okay? All right, so, um, so that's kind of information about trapezoids. Now, let's say we've got, and here's an example, let's say we've got this trapezoid here. All right, we've got this information about it. The top base is equal to 6, the bottom base is equal to 4, and the height between them, say, is equal to 3. Now, in order to get the area, we're going to have a parallelogram. I mean, we're going to have a formula, right? And a formula for trapezoids, okay? This is the trapezoid formula for area. Looks like this. A for the trapezoid is the first base, let's call it base 1, plus the second base, let's call it base 2. Add those together, and you're going to multiply by the height. You're going to divide all that by 2. Okay? I'm going to write that formula again on the next on, on, on the next page, except I'm going to write B1 for base two, base one, B2 for base two, and I'm going to write H for height. Okay. So here is a parallelogram again, and its formula. That's the height. That's B1. This is B2. Notice that those are the two parallel sides, right? And the area is B1 plus B2 times the height divided by 2. And you have to remember to do the, the order of operations correctly. First, we add the two bases together we because they're going to be inside the parentheses. And we multiply that number by the height, whatever it is, and then at the end we divide by 2. And it, even if it doesn't come out evenly, that's still going to be the answer. And of course, remember, you can use your calculators on this. So going back to that trapezoid that I just had on the previous page, okay, 6, 4, and of course that's impossible. So I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch these around top will be 6, top will be 4, and the bottom will be 6, because obviously the bottom has to be longer, right? And then here's the height. I said that's going to be 3, right? So, <clears throat> using this formula here, this will be base 1, that will be base 2, and that will be the height. All right. So for Mr. for this trapezoid, the area is um, four plus six times three divided by two. And we just once we know what the formula is and what the numbers are, we just plunk the numbers in, and then we go from there. Okay. So the area. So remember that we do inside the parentheses first. That's ten. And then 3 over 2. And then we do what's on the top first. The multiplication, 10 times 3 is 30. Gives us 2. 
and then 30 by, divided by 2 is 15. So the area is 15, 15 square units. Okay, I didn't put units on this problem, but normally there will be units. Okay, that's how it goes. Alrighty, so, um, so that is the area. I'll just put u squared for unit squared. Okay, so how about this trapezoid? Six will be the height. Nine, and let's say the bottom base there is equal to 15. Well, keep in mind, this is base, well, this is base one, although it doesn't really matter. We'll call that one base two. And there, of course, is the height. It's a distance between the two bases. So now we plunk them into the same formula up above. 15 plus 19 in parentheses times 6 divided by 2. That's the area, right? So 15 plus 9 is uh, 24. And then times 6 divided by 2, right? Well, 24 times 6, according to Mr. Calculator, is 144. So that's 144 divided by 2. And 20, 144 divided by 2 is 72. And so the area is 72. And again, square units, whatever they happen to be, feet or inches or miles or yards or whatever they are. Okay? So that's kind, that's two. Now, what I want you to do, I'm going to put this over here. Now, you can go back and look at those again. Stop, you know, pause the video or rewind the video and come back and you know, go back and look at the rest of it. I'm also going to put up a printed version of these notes so you can just kind of look at pictures of them. Okay, but what I'd like you to do at this point is just put the video on pause. Okay, just pause the video. And I'm going to give you a problem to do and uh, 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 while while the video is paused. Okay, so here's the problem. Don't don't pause it yet. Okay, let me show you the problem. Okay, so this is going to be, we've done a couple of examples so far, so this is going to be example three. So I'm going to have another parallelogram here. Okay, so use your calculator. Okay. And there are the measurements, right? There's base one. There's base 2, and that's the height. And I'd like you to use the, uh, um, the formula to find the area of the parallelogram. Now remember the formula, uh, the area of the trapezoid. And remember that the area of the trapezoid is B1 plus B2 times the height divided by 2. Okay, so pause the video right now and try that problem. Okay, so here's the answer, right? We're going to put uh, 12 in for B1 and 7 in for B2. Height is 5 and then divided by 2, right? So, according to Mr. Calculator, 12 plus 7 is 19. So that's going to be 19 times 19 times 5 divided by 2, right? Oopsie. I'll move that over so you can see it. Sorry. That's 19 times 5 divided by 2, right? Okay, then the 19 times 5, that's 95 divided by 2 is 47.5 square units. That's the area of the trapezoid that we're just working with. And as you can see, the answer will not always come out evenly. Okay? So we just write down the decimal version. So these we're going to be doing on our calculator. Okay? All right, good. So if you still need some help, go back and look at that part again or go back and look at the other ones. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to give you uh, some more to do here. And again, I'm going to write some three or four down. 
Okay, actually, you know what? Before you do that, I'm going to do one more because this one might look a little bit different. Sorry, decided to change directions here. What if we had like one of the examples above? What if we had one of these trapezoids that are kind of standing on its end like that? Well, notice that these two are the parallel sides. So even though they're standing up, we're still going to call those two are the bases. So let's say this one is 6 inches. I'll put units on this. Let's say this is 11 inches. And let's say the height is equal to uh, 4 inches right there. So the height is equal to 4. Well, again, using our formula here, we use this for base 1 and this for base 2 because those are the parallel sides. And the height there, the distance between the two bases is 4. And so the area is equal to uh, 11 plus 6 times 4 divided by 2. So that's 17 times 4 divided by 2. All right, and when we worked that all out on our calculator, we should get 34. And since I gave you the units, we're going to call that 34 square inches. Yeah? All right, very good. Okay, good. So those are four examples. Uh, you can rewind and look at those again if you need to at any time. Plus, you can look at the printed notes. But why don't you try these right now? Put the video on pause and try these two, right? Make sure you can do these two before you stop the video and start the work, okay? Okay, so those are a couple of trapezoids. So we'll say that this one is equal to 7 feet, and this will be 5 feet, and this will be 3 feet high. Okay, that's the height there. And this one will be, I'm going to use decimals on this one, 6.2 centimeters will be the height, 7 centimeters, and let's make that 9 centimeters, sorry, 9 centimeters make that one 8 centimeters. So 6.2 centimeters the height, 8 and 9. Okay, so at this point go ahead and put the video on pause while you're working those examples out, okay? Fifty two point. Okay, so what I got, okay, so if you've unpaused or if now you're looking at this, I got 18 square feet on the first one, assuming all my arithmetic was correct, and then 52.7 square centimeters on the second one, again, assuming I did my arithmetic correctly. Okay, so go ahead. So that's the end of that, this little lesson video here. You can go ahead, you can watch it again, you can rewind and watch parts of it, okay? Either way, go ahead, and, or, and, then, and then also, of course, you can look at printed version of these sheets, okay? And then go ahead and do the classwork and homework, and then upload it to me after taking, your, after taking a picture of it. Now, one last thing, actually, okay? When you're taking a picture of the work, make sure you're holding your phone horizontally like this, although not so close to the paper, obviously, not vertically like this. Okay? I know vertically seems to make more sense, but when you upload the picture to Canvas, 
for reasons that I have no idea of, and it doesn't make any sense to me, the images are rotated 90 degrees. So that if you send it to me vertically like this, it comes out, when I look at it on canvas, it comes out sideways like this, right? And if you, but if you take it horizontally like this, it rotates it and it comes out straight, okay? Anyway, so please do that. Uh, if you've got any questions, send me an email or um, let's see, I will be, uh, uh, I know that um, I will have a, uh, you can send me an email anytime and I will be available on a video chat on Monday, okay, before this homework is due on Tuesday, I will be available on a, uh, on a, not a video chat, I'm sorry, a class discussion chat uh, from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock. Alrighty? Okay. Anyway, as usual, uh, and as we had before, please email me any questions or concerns. Thank you.